This is the airport at Salem, Oregon. We're doing the Salem 4 departure off runway 16, which involves making a climbing left turn. We're maintaining a standard climb gradient of 200 feet per nautical mile, which as you can look out and see, keeps us pretty well clear of any obstacles in the departure corridor. Salem sits in the I-5 corridor of the Pacific Northwest, which is a relatively low elevation area of the country, so a standard climb gradient works pretty well here. The only problem is the Salem 4 departure doesn't call for a standard climb gradient. It calls for a steep 570 foot per nautical mile climb. Why is this? It's because Salem, Oregon, like most of the western United States, lies in what's called a designated mountainous area, or DMA. You've heard of designated mountainous areas when you study obstacle protections under IFR. We know, for example, that minimum IFR altitudes are based on 1,000 feet of obstacle clearance or 2,000 feet in designated mountainous areas. But how do we know if we're in a designated mountainous area? The AIM publishes a chart as figure 5-6-3. So basically, anything in blue, which is roughly the Appalachian mountain range in the east, and all of the western U.S., except the Central Valley in California and the Puget Sound in Washington, is designated mountainous. Our flight in western Oregon fits snugly inside this blue zone. When the FAA develops departure procedures like the one we're flying off of at Salem, it has to evaluate obstacles around an airport. The AIM tells us that the obstacle identification surface, a line radiating out from the airport, is used to determine if any obstacles interfere with a standard climb out. In non-mountainous areas, this assessment area goes out only 25 miles, roughly corresponding to the circle here, and excludes much of the higher terrain to the east and south. However, because we're in a designated mountainous area, the assessment area goes out to 46 miles, the larger blue circle. This area encompasses some much higher terrain. This could be a factor that pushes those climb gradient requirements higher. Wouldn't it be nice to have this airport and the rest of the lower area of the I-5 corridor designated non-mountainous to get some lower climb gradients and some lower minimum IFR altitudes? Turns out the FAA may agree with you and is working on a long-term project to redefine mountainous areas. The proposed definition would align more closely with that used by ICAO and be based on an area's proximity to high terrain rather than a blanket geographic area. If it's adopted as proposed, the designated mountainous areas would shrink in the U.S. to the orange regions. While it's not easy to say that the minimums at Salem Airport, which would fall outside the mountainous areas under the plan, would definitely go down, it's clear that many piston engine pilots would be able to get a bit of a break on departure procedures, minimum IFR altitudes, and Arocas while still maintaining good obstacle protection. The plan is still in the process of being implemented, but hopefully this gives some new insights on what can be kind of a nebulous concept. Check out more of our training and flight ground schools today at the link here or in the description.